What's up guys, welcome back to another video on Pure Panorama. This video, we're gonna talk AC, because it's summertime after all, the temperature is getting warm, and my 24 valve Cummins is blowing warm air when I have the AC turned on. So what I did was went and picked up a can of R134A refrigerant, just a can with the little gauge on it and the hose, not the proper way of doing things. I know you need to have your high port, your low port, and a vacuum hose with a vacuum pump to really hook up to the system and check things out 100% and charge it the right way properly. Um, but I, uh, I don't have all those tools at my disposal right now um, and I wanted to try and check to see if there was any pressure in the system what the charge was if there was any charge at all and see what the AC clutch compressor was doing if it was doing anything at all as well so I had the truck fired up I had it running I turned the AC on max turned the blower motor up to high full blast and nothing was happening with the AC clutch the compressor was not kicking on at all so so I was scratching my head here thinking, pondering, and thought, well, maybe the air conditioning system just doesn't have any charge at all to it. Maybe there's just not enough refrigerant in there to engage the compressor and kick it on and have it run. So I took that can of R134A refrigerant, I stuck it onto the low side port. Let me show you where that is. That was a nice second gen Cummins that just rolled by. I don't know if you guys got a shot of that from behind me, but dang, it was an old silver one. Looked like Loud and Proud's truck, only single rear wheel axle. But anyways, we took that can of R134A refrigerant and we stuck it on the low side port here and I'm gonna show you where that is. Typically, the low port is up on most vehicles by the firewall. There's a high port and a low port and the high port connection is gonna be a little bit bigger than the low port. So you can't really get the two confused when you're going to hook up your refrigerant can to charge your system. Uh, and the high port usually has an H on it. So let me show you those quick. So this is the high port. As you can see, it's right up here by the passenger side battery. And you can tell that it's the high port because it does in fact have the letter H right there on the cap. And then if we look over here on the other side of the big honking air filter, right here is the low port so i had the can hooked up to that and i wasn't getting any reading at all on the gauge and just got to thinking well maybe i should shoot some r134a refrigerant into that low port and see what happens i guess and uh so i did that i pulled the trigger had the can upside down was shaking it a little rotating it from three and nine twelve whatever the positions of the clock are that you have to rotate it and doing as I was supposed to and the needle on the gauge lo and behold started to move but it wasn't moving in a good way let me show you a clip of what it was doing So with the needle doing that on the gauge, it really just kind of threw me for a loop and I, I just, I don't know, I didn't know what to think. I, I don't know, I, I don't know what's going on at this point. So I crawled down under the truck and I hear click, click, click. So I'm thinking now that the compressor is trying to kick on. So I got down under there, I looked, and sure enough, the compressor, the, the AC clutch, definitely was trying to engage. It was trying to kick on, but it was like short cycling almost. It was only kicking on for like two seconds, and then it would turn off, and then it would click and turn on, and then it would turn off and I don't know what the hell is going on with it. I'm really kind of confused right now. Now I'm not an AC technician, I'm no expert on AC and don't really know, I guess, where to begin with troubleshooting this, but I'm definitely going to be looking up stuff for this and trying to do my due diligence with research and trying to figure this out. <clears throat> because I definitely want to have AC in the truck on these hotter days. Today's pretty nice, 68-ish or so, overcast. 
felt pretty cool and chilly here um, and next week starting Monday it's gonna shoot right up to 90 and it looks like we're gonna finally get our warmest part of the season here but not knowing really what was going on with it and seeing the gauge kind of bounce up and down I thought well maybe it really just was super low on refrigerant and I should try to add some more and I, I don't know what the <laughs> what the repercussions are by doing so if there is like some type of problem with the AC system on the truck uh, I don't know if something will go pop blow up on me or, or what the deal is But I did try to add a little bit more in to see if that gauge on the can would kind of balance out and settle down a little bit and it didn't it kept kind of going up into the full zone and then dropping back down to about 10 psi in the low zone and then go up and then drop down and all the while the ac compressor the clutch kept going click and coming on and off in like two second intervals So I'm not sure if that is just a sign of telling me that it really was just so low. There was no refrigerant at all. It was just that low that the system just can't really get itself up and running and going and functioning properly and I need to just dump that whole can in there and maybe need to go and get another can to add into it as well. Now while you're doing this and you're charging your AC system obviously you got to have your air conditioning on max and you got to turn the blower on high and I had that going in the truck and originally when I first initially started this whole thing the air coming out of my vents was warm just like it always had been when I turned it on before to check and see if the air conditioning worked but after I shot some of that refrigerant down in there and then shot some more down in there and I realized that the AC clutch and compressor or whatever had started trying to kick itself on and was trying to function and work I noticed that when I came back over to the cab of the truck that the air starting to come out of the vents was actually a little bit cooler and started to it didn't feel as warm as it originally did so I really I'm I don't know I'm wondering I'm thinking maybe the refrigerant is just super super low and I need to get a full a good full can of R134A refrigerant into the system and then get another can to add into there and things might be okay with it I may end up having AC in the truck or I may have more problems with the air conditioning system on the 24 valve Cummins than I think and I may have to actually go and get all the the whole works they're all big setup and hook up to the high port the low port have the vacuum pump and all that do a leak test on it and check everything out thoroughly I may need to get a whole new compressor so I'm coming at you guys right now with the questions of who out there knows a thing or two about air conditioning on vehicles and can point me in some good directions here so that I can continue to troubleshoot this because I'm not going to be the I'm not going to be the guy who tries to play it off like I know everything and I can do everything. I'll be the first to tell you that I don't know everything and a lot of stuff I am still learning. We we all learn every day. We learn new things. So this is something that I want to figure out I want to troubleshoot I want to learn about and I would love to get fixed on the 24 valve coming so I know a lot of you guys out there are good and mechanically inclined and stuff like that so you could probably tell me a thing or two about this and teach me some stuff and and I can take that knowledge and then go and check into this further and try to get this air conditioning up and running because I wouldn't mind trying to get that going some point this weekend Sunday is gonna be a little rainy Saturday is looking like it might be good so I maybe we can get it done then so leave some comments down below point me in that right direction give me some advice some pointers some tips tricks all that good stuff and uh, that's it just wanted to get on here relay that stuff to you show you what I saw when I tried to put that R134A refrigerant into my 24 valve Cummins and trying to get cold air into the cab because we got some warm days coming here in New York and I need to be prepared for it leave a like on this video on your way out if you're stopping in for the first time hit that subscribe button don't even think about it just freaking pop, hit it hit it man and i will see you guys in the next video peace also gonna be looking to put that hx35 back together i actually need to go online tonight order some gaskets for it and see if i can't get them here by saturday somehow keep your fingers crossed if we can then uh maybe we'll be looking at trying to get the turbo on the truck too no promises though i just wanna keep